Our commitment is not wavering. As part of our ongoing series called Race in America, we continue to have open and honest conversations around race and racism. We're sharing some important work that's happening right now in our communities. And tonight, we're talking food. Top Chef alumni and Oakland residents to David Fu and Nelson Herman and Chef Alex Travis sit down with our own Cheryl Hurd to talk about culture, black and Asian tensions, and how food brings people together. They're like onion sprouts. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Some people do this. They told me not to do it, but I kind of like it. Got some duck, duck breasts, the crossing. You know, a lot of good people understand the yeah. meaning of unity yeah. and being minorities together. Uh, Chef Nelson Herman, I am born and raised in New York City, watched the Heights neighborhood, Dominican in culture. When you cook it down with sugar, it gets really sweet. Uh, this is my beautiful place that you're sitting in, sort of mesa. I'm actually going to keep the bones on. I am a first generation Vietnamese American. Alex Travis, uh, born in Fairfield, raised in Oakland. On every Sunday, my grandmother made this huge meal and we all had to come to dinner and if not, she'd be highly upset. And how does food bring you together? Food has this ability to, um, to break down your walls. There's no racism in food. It's literally the art of breaking bread and breaking down walls and getting to a truth. It's our responsibility to definitely shell out to the world what what we know as Oakland. Yeah, for sure. And how our history is intertwined, man. Absolutely. To celebrate Juneteenth this year, these chefs hosted a black and Asian solidarity supper at Sobra Mesa a seven-course Vietnamese and Pan-African dinner that brought together more than 100 people from different backgrounds and cultures. The things that led up to that dinner was that we were seeing a bunch of um, a, a spike in uh, crimes against Asians. And in, as a result of that, there was a divisiveness that happened between the black and Asian community. I think we wanted to bring everyone to the table to give everyone a reminder that at the end of the day, no matter what color you are, you're a human being and we see you. Just um, go forward on that to talk about um, the elephant in the room, which is <coughs> what, uh, what is what appears to be a black and Asian beef going on in the Bay Area because of the crimes that are happening in the Bay Area. Where do you think that comes from? Trump. So this wasn't happening before Trump? There's always been racism in this country. There's always been um, extremism in this country. But he opened the floodgates to fuel that fire by saying him as president, um, the COVID virus is a Chinese virus. I mean, how do you bring people together with food and try to dispel these myths? Because quite frankly, when you go into these neighborhoods, a little Saigon, Chinatown, or what have you, you know, folks are afraid of black people. How do you break that myth? There's no code anymore. There's no rules in the streets. And it's really sad to see. Maybe if you can explain what that really means. And, and this goes more with the, the, the hoods and the projects. You know, I grew up in Washington Heights, New York City. Beautiful neighborhood. Um, but it wasn't all just like positive. There was this kind of like hatred for like another block or another gang or anything like that. So it, it's, I see certain things here that are very similar to that. But there was always a code in the street of like making sure uh, people who are innocent are okay. Other cultures or minorities, like don't mess with this family or don't mess with these people. They're in, in our, they're dealing to the same things we are. Because they have the same struggles that we have. Yeah, because I feel like there's a lot of hatred and anger still holding on that is getting passed down to future generations. So unless we let that go, we can't really move forward because it's just, I'm gonna tell my nephew, don't go to that store, that guy's racist. Why do you think he's racist? We need to open up that conversation. Do you really think that uh, these acts of violence are crimes of hatred or crimes of opportunity? I grew up, you can say, born in the 90s, grew up in the 2000s. It's anything my generation did wasn't really fueled by anything, it just happened. And you kind of see that with uh, after school programs leaving. So it's a little boredom. So you want a reason to hate? No, you just, I'm bored, so I do something stupid. I call them my cousins. My cousins are doing it. The blame is not 100% JoJo. It's, no, it's not, but you're saying that. He's a, because he's are a, you trying to be politically correct? Or? No, I'm trying to be compassionate towards another human being. 
Mm-hmm. Everyone, I'm sure everyone at this table has a family member who's committed a crime. Sure. I'm not saying that that's okay, but usually you have to look at the backdrop of the crime, right? Of why they committed the crime or what disposition they're in. It, I believe in context. I don't believe in demonizing. I hear you. And, and I agree with that too. I'm trying to push buttons here. You're President of the United States right now. What would you do in 30 seconds to change things? Go. Pay teachers more. Um, bring back all the community centers that I've seen wiped away from specifically in Oakland. That would be my first initiative because I feel like that's, uh, we need to invest in our youth. Uh, also, uh, home at a lot of people don't know nutrition, a lot of people don't know how to better themselves. So give that back to the community, give that back to East Oakland. Show them, teach them so that they know better, so they can do better. And for me to own this place, like, there wasn't a black man who could have owned a space like this back in the days. They would get killed. Representation matters. Let's keep pushing that. Let's keep pushing that, not just on TV, on social media, out in the streets showing how you know, we can bring our cultures to the forefront and show positivity, bring more role models. Yeah, more role models, more mentorship. And hopefully it will make a difference. To watch our past episodes of Race in America, just go to NBCBayArea.com slash Race in America. That's a powerful conversation. Well, up